Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is September 19th, 2014, and on this weekend coming up, on the 21st, there is this black mass that is supposed to be going on in the Oklahoma Civic Center through here. Now, this is like a, a mockery of the Roman Catholic Mass, and it's a a day of their worship for their God, their king, the devil, Satan. Some people are trying to get upwards of 600 people even to come and protest this event. But this is going on right here, this, this guy right in here, all this stuff. Well, I wanted to show how all of this is actually a sign that we're nearing the end of days. This will be at the Oklahoma Civic Center Music Hall in Oklahoma City, right here, on the 21st. This is the place right here, Oklahoma City, right here. It's even talked of like the Hall of Mirrors, all of these things. Well, there was another event. We're going to show that this is actually all mapped out. On my channel, I show how all of the Earth is as a grid and that we're nearing the time of when the bottomless pit is opened and Satan is here back on Earth and the beginning of the end of days. We're going to show how this is mapped out all right here as a grid right in front of us. and. Now, I wanted to show over here about Roger Goodell quickly. At the same time that we're doing this, there has been these things going on with the NFL. You see how the NFL in the background has the four and the four, the stars on each side, just like Obama is the 44th president, and that this also looks like a trident symbol, as we've seen before about the beast rising from the sea of Revelation 13 in the Bible which is the same thing as this beast that's coming here just like Satan coming the Revelation 13 beast and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea seven heads and ten horns we're gonna show this beast right over there where that thing is but this is what I wanted to show quickly here at the same time nearing this event on September 18th this man here killed his daughter and six of his grandchildren. You know, may God have mercy on everybody involved. But this was like another spiritual event. This man's name was even Don Spirit. And it happened in Bell, Florida. Well, we're going to show this bell over right where we're going over to here on Google Earth. This is that civic center right where this is. Let's take this off. Remember we showed about the football event going on right now? You see right over here at the Myriad Gardens? You see the bell? Right here? The Liberty Bell, like to release Satan. And this football normally means nukes, is what that means. And you see the P in the middle, this represents the Pallades, the seven angels, the seven stars, the seven churches that Jesus holds in his right hand. And it represents when the gate can be opened for an exchange. Satan coming to here and Jesus people going to him. And then the great tribulation of the Bible coming. It's all right here. Look at that right there. Just as we had that, that poor man that killed his own children. This represents a type of the horsemen of the apocalypse coming too. It means the end of days. World War Three. See there? Just like that. Now, why is all this stuff going on? The news is just flooded with this. I wanted to show right here. On the Illuminati box cover, it shows this guy right up here. This Satan figure, this clown. And he's running everything. The red versus the blue. He's running Russia. He's running the USA. But he's coming down in what is known as the Fifth Age. See down here? The day the dead rise. And then he brings this idol worship. That's what he's all about, is the idol worship right here. And then this type of syringe for... Maybe Ebola is released, or for the mark of the beast and such. And then this eagle flies away, 
represent any type of rapture. Well, this beast has even been seen like a rabbit. Literally. It's all mapped out for what's coming. Here is that Civic Center, right here by the Hall of Mirrors. See, Civic Center Music Hall, where well, the Black Mass will be going on. And right here you can actually see this rabbit. See him? That's the Satan figure. The rabbit means a trickster. See how he has the two horns there, like his rabbit ears? This will all map out perfectly like a grid. The whole world is done this way. The whole world is a matrix going according to the script. Now the beast that is rising out of the sea has ten horns. Here they are right here. Here is the ten horns. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There is the beast that will rise out of the sea. Will it happen this 21st or 22nd? We don't know. This stuff is done over and over again. We're also entering the time of many Jewish feasts, the Feast of Trumpets and things going on. But we saw that that beast, right here, and I stood upon the sand of the sea, saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And this is when a grievous head wound happens, and then the wound is healed. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And then for forty and two months, forty-two months, this beast is going to rampage across the earth. It will even have things to do with Russia rising up. All of this, the USA is going to be betrayed, just like Judas betrayed Jesus. That's what happens to the USA, unfortunately. See him right there? Perfect. There's your Satan. For all the people that worship Satan, there's your God. For all the people that worship Jesus Christ, hallelujah. May Jesus kick this guy's butt. But he's going to have his 40 in two months. See there? Now we show how he is released from the pits of hell through there. Above here you can see this dome. See this dome just like this? <coughs> Excuse me. This represents even on this glyph as we've shown before about what's coming. This is a glyph of Akhenaten. You have to remember Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and set free. All of these Egyptian things are supposed to be here. It's like the curse on Adam. But they map out the end of days. Most of them do and the scholars just have not been telling us the truth. This one is of Akhenaten which has a lot of semblance to Obama. And it shows right here this fifth angel coming down with the key to open the abyss with the V on his chest, the rabbit ears, the red bull, the V for the fifth age. See how he even looks like a clown? There he is right there. See how he looks like a clown and is coming for the fifth age, the age of the beast. This, this will match that glyph perfectly. See him coming? Then the red horse of the apocalypse is off and running. And Russia, the Russian bear, rises up for 40 and 2 months. This is a type of, rap, type of a rapture event right here, this phoenix rising. See how that's going up? See the two domes? This represents a nuclear event. This is the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne and the star of Bethlehem. And the left hand side is the accuser, Satan, right there, coming down. The right hand side is where Jesus Christ sits in the power of God and mercy. He is going to go to the throne now and sit on top. And then you can see the Russian bear rising up for 42 months. For those that know their Old Testament, it's exactly like when Elijah went up in a flaming chariot in a rapture. And then Elisha, was they laughed at him for his bald head. And he let the bears chew up 42 children. Just like Russia will rise up for 40 and 2 months with the red side of the world. China, North Korea, uh, all of Russia, all of them rising up to terrorize. The red side, Edom, Esau, coming. See right there? The red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse. Even Britain being involved with their, because they're red too, they're the red coats. There's the dome. There is the grievous head wound happening to the beast when one of its horns, bam, you see this bell right over here? 
Now we need the key to open the bottomless pit. Isn't this amazing? We need the key to open the bottomless pit and prove the case. Right here, the library. Boom. Isn't that amazing? May God have mercy on us all. Isn't this just, this is just amazing. There's the key to open the bottomless pit. Now we're, this is replayed over here, just like the nuke hitting the big bell. Liberty. It means the beast is free. Oh no, he's free. He has liberty. Right here, coming through here, you can see like a translation event going on. Just like this piano. See this piano here, like piano keys? Right here, at Nebu. Well, for those that know their Old Testament, this is about the time when Moses died. This is the end. The same thing going on. A type of exodus going on. And then at the end of the exodus, at the end of the 40 years, Moses went up to the top of a mountain and God took him. God, he, Moses died and Joshua took over at that point. And the mountain was named Nebo. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of God. Everybody says that the mountain that he died on was Nebo. See right here? Nebo. Just like we have here, Nebu. See that? And then we have the football things going on with the 44 and the football. All right here, ready for this to happen for this event, for the beginning of the end of days, when we're set free to go to the Lord Jesus Christ, to be caught away up into the air with him, this is going to mean nuclear war and World War III coming too. That This is not a, this this guy is not a joke. This guy is going to, wants to destroy every single thing upon the earth. He's red. That's what he does. He kills. He, he wants war. That's all he's about. He's the red horse of the apocalypse, which means war. Revelation 6, 3. Some have equated that this might even be the three sixes. 666. Six, six. These two writers are getting up. All four will. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. That's him. He gets this great sword from the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that, that opens the seals of the Bible. So there you go. Perfect. All right there. And we even just had this darn killing of that whole family in Bell, Florida. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So there's the beast, right there, with the ten horns, ready to rise, the Revelation 13 beast, when this grievous head wound event happens. See the key to open the bottomless pit? We've tracked this right here down to San Diego by the San Onofre power plant, which has been turned off to prepare for this event by Camp Pendleton. And then they will use the harp machine even on the San Andreas Fault for one of the greatest earthquakes ever. May God have mercy on us all. Thank you very much, everybody. This is real and right in front of us all day long. Cubby, step into the perpetual motion simulator. We're testing new degree, the only antiperspirant activated directly by movement. Activating protection, Bear! It releases bursts of protection as you move. Feeling fresh and dry, Bear! The more you move, the more it works. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! New long-lasting degree with motion sense. Help me! Keep running!